I'm sorry to interrupt. I'm sorry, but I don't know. You 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 come here, okay, with your maybe your opinion, and you tell me who Samuel was and what we were going through. But what you say is just uh, it is just a little part of the whole situation, you know. I mean, sometimes. Sometimes a couple is kind of a chaos and everybody is lost, no? And sometimes we fight together and sometimes we fight alone and sometimes we, we fight against each other. That happens. And I think it's possible that Samuel needed to see things the way you described them. But if, if I'd been seeing a therapist, he could stand here too and say very ugly things about Samuel. But would those things be true? I just want you to know one thing. I'm not a monster. I don't know what happened. I think he fell off the third floor. The window's open. The autopsy report is inconclusive. An accidental fall is going to be hard for us to defend. Most suspicious death. You were the only person there. And of course you... You his wife. Stop. I did not kill him. That's not the point. You had a fight the day before he died. You need to start seeing yourself the way others are going to perceive you. Is there anything that would seem consistent with a suicide? You have to tell them exactly like you remember it. You complain about the life that you chose. You are not a victim. Not at all. Be fair. I'm a man who's been cheated on. I can't stand anymore. I'm fired. I'm fired. I'm fired. You know that, right?